Hey everyone, Merrick's here, bringing you another video. This one we're going to be taking a look at my six-star John Cena Ghostbuster. You have a strap equipped to him. It was for faction boss, actually. Uh, for the multiply setup, don't need the Tierra. For the way I'm going to run him for feud or anything like that, don't... Fury doesn't matter. Um, if you have a good gem defense strap, probably best setting him up that way. Otherwise, it really doesn't matter. Uh, what you have for a strap for him, because his damage is all coming from the countdown move. The uh, Central Park Sunset. Deal 81k damage plus 580k bonus damage for every countdown. That's 1 MP, and the other 1 MP, the 84 throwback. Deal 25k damage and choose 3 gems to make into 1 turn countdown gems. Make 6 rando into color turn. And then the choose move, um, choose 4 gems to make into red, 7 MP black. So I'm going to show this two different ways. Um, also, I want to say once I have Ridge 6-star, it would replace King of Kings, and you would do more damage. Um, one of the turnoffs for some people uh, with Cena was, could he put people down turn 1 in Feud? The answer is, if you have a 17k Santa and a 6-star Ridge and a Zombie Rhea, you will be able to hit for about 14 million uh, turn one. Uh, I will show you that build using King of Kings, who doesn't hit quite as hard. It's good for about 12 million uh, with King of Kings. Um, and then um, I will show you the turn two build um, if you don't have a 17k Santa. Both are fast, both hit hard, um, etc. You could um, potentially also go... Uh, double black MP trainer, and then you would lose Ridge and um, King of Kings, and then you probably are topping out much, much lower um, to the point where you likely can't drain their health. So I don't think that's really a viable option. So I think it's one or the other, and both work uh, really well. Um, so let's take a look. And uh, first, let's... How do I have it set up first? Uh, I forgot already. Uh, turn two set up first. So it's going to show loaded, but we're going to play it like it's not loaded. Um, like it was viewed. So that's the one on the left. For confusion's sake, we'll go turn two like this. So this is, we're pretending it isn't loaded for feud. They have max defensive perks. Um, so we're going to put our countdown gems out. Don't really care where doesn't matter to us we're loaded next turn so what gems we match doesn't matter um so i'll just take the red here i think you can see that did 4.5 million and priest had over 14 million health right which is uh good to keep in mind so and you don't want to cascade on turn one either then you put your five gems down again Pop the damage move again. I'm going to do, what, another 4.5 million? 4.7 million. Which is exactly what he has left. Now we're going to choose four red gems, make into a row break. Uh, top is usually the safest. Not always, but usually. And we want to clip one uh, black gem. So that we recycle. And now we're going to have 10 gems out, which would hit for like 9 million. Um, so you're going to pretty much drain anyone uh, this way on turn two. And their life is going to be wiped out, so a three swipe will cause the pin. So that's one way. That's uh, if they have more than like 12, um, 12 million health, you would do it this way for turn two. Or if you don't have Santa Hogan, right? And again, when Ridge is there, that number goes to 14 million. So most of the few opponents um, you're going to meet, you will be able to turn one this way with a six-star Ridge in place of um, King of Kings there. I will show you, and we're going to hit everything we can on turn one so you see how much damage it does. Um, and then the potential... Um, or how difficult it is to get back to it. Like, uh, there's color turn gems, so it's really not too bad. Usually you're going to get a pin in not too long. But this will show you how much it does on turn one. 
And then just know that with Ridge, it goes uh, north of 14 million. Not sure the exact number, but it's over 14 million. So it's quite good. Uh, I'm releasing this, um, a six star warrior with braid video. And then I'm also going to be doing a showdown comparison between Cena, um, Ridge, and Dom. And then a feud comparison between them so you guys can uh, really decide which acrobat you want to take up between the three. And you'll have side-by-side -side comparisons. So hopefully you guys enjoy that video and you find it helpful. Um, let's set this one up to... Uh, let's go like this. So, of course, this said we're not hitting quite as hard. 3.9 mil. One, two, three. Oops. For our row break, pick up a black and a red, and then we're going to do this here as well. And we're going to pop it again. So you can see we took 12 million health off him. So you could turn one 12 million without Ridge this way. Uh, Ridge, it'll do over 14. And then um, let's take this. Uh, actually, I'm going to get this black three match right here. Like so. So, yep, it's all over. That's pretty much how Cena plays. You can see he's quite fast. Uh, works really, really well. That's a couple different options for you guys. If you don't have 17k Santa, um, this is a going to turn to win against pretty much everything. Full drain, a lot of feud points that way, and it's also fast. Now, something you could do is you could put a universal MP down coach. Let's say you don't have Rhea or Cena. You could put a universal MP down coach and make sure they're not loaded. Of course, there's also the ultimate plate, the Judgment Day plate, that when you put countdown gems out, uh, drains their MP. That would make uh, Ghostbuster Cena pretty much unstoppable uh, offensively. But either of these builds can work. Um, like I said, if you don't have one of these two, I would put a universal MP down on. If you don't have uh, Cena or Rhea, uh, Zombie Rhea. And he can still be effective, especially with Ridge. I think Ridge is going to be very helpful if you take your Ridge to 6-star. He can help overcome if you're missing one of these clutch um, trainers. Same thing, you can put replace Cena for uh, Ripley in the one that'll do 14 million. It'll just do a little bit less, but you're still going to be pretty good. I, I, I didn't math that out, to be honest, but you're probably north of 13 mil. And that's going to be able to drain most opponents you meet in Feud. Just pay attention to their health. Um... So yeah, I think he's really solid all around. Showdown feud, super good card. Ridge is going to help him a ton. If you're somebody that uses Cena all the time, definitely invest in Ridge. He's going to be uh, worth the price of admission for you as far as just from the trainer alone. But he's also a really good fighter too. Uh, so hopefully you find this video helpful. Remember to like, subscribe, and share, and be on the lookout for those the comparison of the big three um, acrobats, uh, Dom, Warrior, and Cena. Uh, cause they'll be coming too. So thanks for watching guys and good luck out there.